It seems a bit of love under the boardwalk can have disastrous environmental consequences. The exotic Northern Pacific sea star has become a pest in Australia and scientists say it's because port environments provide the ideal breeding ground. Beneath this wharf, supersized sea stars are preparing for a frenzied breeding season. Marine biologists have found the close living quarters and abundant food found under wharves and piers create the perfect conditions for mass reproduction. Pretty much every, every egg that's released around these wharf areas is, uh, will become fertilised, whereas uh, elsewhere further down the estuary um, the, the availability of sperm is, is much lower because the sea stars are generally a bit more spread out. Around the wharf definitely is a stronghold for the population because there's a, a consistent food source that falls off the structures of the wharf. It's thought the pest first hitched a ride to Australia in the ballast water of ships. Since the 1980s, the predator has spread from Hobart up Tasmania's east coast and has been carried into Victoria. Efforts to remove it from isolated inlets have been successful. But when you've got a big o open system like the Derwent or Port Phillip Bay, which is the other place where they're well established, it's a lot harder to, um, to eradicate. Researchers are now considering using the wharves as a sort of reverse marine park. Instead of protecting a species, they would remove as many sea stars as possible to stop them contributing to the wider population. And then look at ways where we can um, improve other aspects of, of the estuary to, to better um, allow the native species and other competitors of the sea stars to, to establish in, in, in such areas. While the sea star is likely here for good, it's hoped the efforts will keep the amorous species in check. Kylie Rollins, ABC News.